Hey guys, so I'm finally back. I had a pretty busy weekend, but now I have another reaction. But one thing you guys didn't really tell me is, uh, I'm going to be uploading the next game in the next couple of days. Do you want me to do it with commentary or without commentary? And if so, would you like it live commentary like this, or just with commentary like this? But right now, I'm going to interview a real, well, not interview, but react to a very special snowflake. And the guy, that, the fact that this guy has 53,000 subscribers surely amazes me. Now, I did also um, a video on this guy on my political channel. I left the link right there. And uh, let's take a little look and see why we need communism. <laughs> what is this world coming to? Hey guys, your old pal Cenable here. And I want to make a video about why, to this day, after the time in history when, when it was founded, we still need communism. Uh. Now, for any of you who don't know, communism is the idea of a nation sharing the wealth. No, kid, let me be blunt here. Communism is basically where everyone in the country will be poor except for the government. And while some people call it distributing, um... If I were to ever start a country with a communist government, wink, wink, wait 12 years. Yeah, um, <laughs> mark my words, people. In 12 years, we're going to have a new Cold War. And uh, this is going to be the new person. I mean, first we had Stalin. Now we kind of have Putin and Kim Jong-un. And, uh, now this kid, apparently his name is Dylan. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be uh, the new enemy of the world. Um, I'd probably make it, like, have these company, like, these buildings, which you can put in money for other people to have. You're talking about banks? I mean, they exist everywhere. You know, kind of a share-share. Now, I know not all communist states are like this, but still, distributing is just as fine as sharing it. Alright, I, I mentioned this on my political channel. Communism doesn't work for a number of reasons, but one of the reasons why it doesn't work is because the more power a government has, the more corrupt it becomes. It just takes all the money for itself while it lets everyone be poor. We saw that in the Soviet Union, we saw that in the Eastern Bloc in general. Hell, we're seeing that in North Korea right now. Well, I'm not explaining why we need communism, I'm just giving the you difference just said between why. distributing. Because they technically are, because, hey, a parent could make their child share a toy or something. Or that parent could take the toy from the child and then play with the toy itself. I mean, that's how all communist nations have done it. Anyway, now on to why we actually need communism. Like, actually need- oh, it's cold out here. Um, yeah, I just have to say, I mean, this kid looks like he lives in a rural part of town. <laughs> I know, like, in the United States, um, pretty much, you know, Southerners and people in the middle of the U.S., they kind of hate a lot of people. They hate Muslims, they hate communists, they hate homosexuals, Mexicans, and all that. But this kid, who lives in the rural area, is supporting communism. Do you know how much of an oxymoron that is? <laughs> I have two reasons. One, poor people, sh we really can't have poor people. It's not good for a bunch of, for like a whole class of people to be poor. People need money. Yeah, I like that idea, kid. I don't want a nation to have poor people either, but you need to know that in communism, Basically, uh, let me give how it started. I mean, Karl Marx wanted to make the statement that all people should have an equal amount of wealth and all factories and government and everything should be owned by the people. And that's why, yeah, he wanted to get rid of the bourgeoisie and he wanted to disable all classes. But what he doesn't know... Well, I mean, you got to give him credit. He actually was right. But what you got to know is we all will be equal because we'll all be poor. And... Uh, Everyone who controls everything, the government, they're just going to hog all the money for themselves. And because there are, no, there are no private companies, there are no anything, there's really no haven to create taxes. So therefore, 
You won't have any institutions for people. Healthcare is going to go down the drain. Yeah, you're just going to create a lot of conditions for fucking poor people. But hey, look, I can see this kid's kind of overweight. I mean, if he wants to lose weight, I mean, I guess not eating in a communist society would work. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm just like leafy now. I'm making fun of children. We can't just let people or be around just be homeless less because as they can't get jobs money is important so that's another reason we need communism well just you know putting socialism and how every single communist nation has existed aside in general how karl marx predicted it there is no money like the value of money does not exist and secondly some people might say oh we have welfare Welfare just promotes lazy. Who the fuck did you get to welfare? We're, not, we're talking about communism, not welfare here. See people, and I don't know. I, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure welfare, especially down in the United States, costs a bit of moolah. <laughs> costs a bit of moolah. Yeah, you're true. Welfare does cost money. But, you know, in communism, you don't have any welfare. Because you're not going to have a lot of taxes. The government will pay for everything. It'll be giving more than getting. So, yeah. All those morons saying that communism is the same as welfare, you can go leave because you are just an absolute moron. Just look up the definition of that. I'm almost certain that this kid is related to Kim Jong-un. I mean, he looks a lot like Kim Jong-un. And on top of that, he really gives does he, these good speeches. I mean, I actually think he could be a good communist leader. All those morons saying that communism is the same as welfare, you can go leave because you are just an absolute moron. Just look up the definition of that. I'm sorry I got a little heated, but when people say it's the same as welfare, I get really angry. Anyway, yeah, that's why we still... Need communism? Bye. Yeah, you hear that, people? We're gonna have a new communist power in the future. But let's see the one of the first videos where he says he's fucking communist. Holy shit. I gotta see this. Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm wearing red. And what color is a certain. And what is associated with red? It's a certain political belief called commune Sorry but I'm not a communist. It's, um and I kind of identify as a communist in my political beliefs. <laughs> Look, his dad's like, what the fuck did I just create? My son's a communist. Um, so, one, th and here are reasons why. Uh, f although first I'm going to give a very good disclaimer. I do not support the actions of people like Joseph Stalin, Burhel Gorjapop, however you say it's Gorbachev, and he's actually one of the better ones because he dissolved the Soviet Union. But um, yeah, he, he kind of did a lot of the stuff that Karl Marx told him to do. Or should I say, you know, how it was written that Karl Marx wanted him to do it. Those people I do not support. What I support is the idea of communism and the idea of a nation sharing the wealth. That's the thing that I support. And, excuse me, yeah, How um, like Kim -un? and there is many things, um, first of all, okay, so, 
before you leave your dislike and say, how could you be a communist? Communism is evil. How many times, okay, I just, I want you to remember, I do not support the actions of people like Joseph Stalin. Um, but, and now I'm going to talk about why I support that idea. Just imagine a, imagine a nation where only the rich have the money, they hog it all, and they never give it to the poor. Would you want to live in that nation? You no, know, every single nation in the world is like that, including a communist one. This kid has some idealist issues. And I don't think so. So that's, so that's why it's awesome for a nation to share the money instead of just hogging it all for, for themselves. And I see no uh, economical uh, consequences in that. Let's take a look at some pictures here. Oh yeah, isn't that good? Yeah, that's really lovely. No economic consequence. Let's also forget that my parents grew up in Yugoslavia and uh, they pretty much didn't like it. That's why they moved to Canada. So, yeah. That's kind of another thing about Okay, I cannot listen to this really kid cool. on this video also anymore. The symbols are but listen, let me just get to this one. Communism hasn't worked. Okay. Guys, old pal Cenable here, and I am going to make a video against the argument that communism never, ever, ever worked. I mean... First off, you think capitalism always worked? Like... Well, capitalism works a lot better than communism. I mean, you, you wouldn't even have YouTube. You would probably wouldn't even have that house if it weren't for uh, capitalism. Actually, yeah, capitalism has always worked. Like in the Great Depression, capitalism definitely worked. That was sarcasm. And look at how the Soviet Union looked like in the 30s. But in the Great Depression, capitalism, yeah, it happened in the United States. Not China, not Russia. It happened in the United States and a few other countries, but the United States was predominant. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, um... Also, communism and socialism, they never worked. Like, pff, Canada, and Sweden, and Norway, and Ireland, and Belgium, and the Netherlands, they're doing so horribly. Kid, I'm Canadian, and I tend on living in Ireland part-time in the future, but I can tell you neither of these countries are communist. <laughs> this kid really doesn't, didn't do his research. Oh, and, um... It's not like Cuba has a bigger life expectancy. No. Actually, actually, Cuba doesn't have a bigger life expectancy. I mean, yeah. I really don't need to explain that. Well, not, not, not at all. But, yeah, actually, Cuba has been proven to have a bigger life expectancy. And another thing? Oh. Um... <clears throat> Cuba has a better education system. That might be wrong, okay, but debatable. you can't deny that socialism has worked in many other countries. Anyway, yep. And well, they're not socialists. They have social welfare, but they're not, you know, fucking socialists like the Soviet Union. Yeah, I'm leaving my dislike too. Well, kids. Just know that in the future, we're gonna have a new Cold War. And I'm pretty sure this guy has a better future than all of us put together. So, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my political channel, and I will see you all later on.